The National Transport and Safety Authority, NTSA, has called on the police, judiciary and insurance companies to expedite all road crashes cases before them so that justice is served to the victims of road accidents. Speaking at the University of Embu during a road safety sensitization forum, NTSA East Regional Manager Doris Sibaya said that the wheels of justice for the road crashes are sometimes too slow despite the devastation, the loss and the suffering of the bereaved and those injured. Sibaya disclosed that vulnerable road users, including school-going children, border border riders and pedestrians, are paying the highest prices in the road traffic crashes. The number of deaths as a result of road traffic crashes will continue increasing if road users do not adhere to basic road safety practices. This is according to NTSA Eastern Regional Manager Doris Sibaya, who says road traffic crash cases are preventable if all road users play their roles effectively and responsibly. The burden of grief and stress experienced by these huge numbers of people it's all the greater because many of the victims are young, many of the crashes could have been prevented, and response to road death and injury and to victims and families is often inadequate, unsympathetic, and at times even inappropriate to the loss of life or quality of life for the victims. Addressing students who had gathered for a road sensitization program at the University of Embu, Sibaya announced that NTSA is finalizing the development of the National Road Safety Action Plan to enhance coordination, management and implementation of road safety priority plans as an intervention to reduce road traffic crashes and is also developing a road safety curriculum for school-going children in collaboration with Kenya Institute of Curriculum Development, KIC. In the coming months, the authority that is NTSA will be reaching out to the various government agencies and stakeholders to prepare for the review of various legal instruments to address emerging issues in road safety management. We do believe the laws currently in place require alignment to best practices. We have seen policies relating to the use, to the use of new technology in addressing road safety challenges and in other developing countries and we cannot afford to be left behind. Ladies and gentlemen, as an authority, we do acknowledge the need to do more in reducing fatalities on our roads. Vulnerable road users, including border border riders, pedestrian, school-going children, are paying the highest price. Sibaya disclosed that as of November 17th, Kenya had recorded 18,474 road traffic crash victims, of which 4,103 were fatal, 8,371 serious injuries, while 6,000 were slight injuries. Sibaya said that 1,486 pedestrians, 1,085 border border riders, 721 passengers, 378 drivers, 377 passengers, and 56 cyclists had died as a result of road traffic crashes as at November 17th. Deputy Vice Chancellor Professor Kiplagat Kotut, who spoke during the opening of the Memorial Garden for road traffic crash victims, meant to remember the three students that the university lost through road accidents, called on the students and the university staff to be cautious on the road and also to offer a helping hand when they encounter a road crash victim. This garden will be a constant reminder to the university community on the need for every individual to observe and promote road safety so as to prevent further damage on our roads by exercising caution at all times. Anthony Mushiri, a first-year student in the University of Embu and a road crash victim who lost his leg in the aftermath of a road accident, also urged his fellow students to always exercise caution while on the road. I'm a victim of road accident. There was two vehicles behind and then in front they are, there were two other vehicles and they were overtaking. So the motorists tend to move aside to give the others vehicle space. So in the event, one of the brandos pushed us and uh, the person who was at the end was uh, Reporting for Hope TV News Watch, I'm Tess Njenga.